आर गोइंग टू सी द आल्स रीडिंग कंप्लीट द सेंटेंस इज एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट आर द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन लाइक चूज वन वर्ड ओनली यू मस्ट नोटिस दैट नाउ द आंसर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्वेश्चन विल बी इन वन वर्ड If you write more than one word, you will not score any mark for that. Now we will read the first question, twentieth one. Certain diseases have disappeared thanks to better dash and health care. Now we will look for the same words in the passage or the synonyms. If we go to the A, while many diseases that affect humans have been eradicated due to improvements in vaccinations and the availability of healthcare, now we have got the same keywords like healthcare and eradicated synonym for the disappeared. So the answer will be vaccinations. because there is more contact between people dash are losing their usefulness now our keywords will be contact people and usefulness if we go to the next line in a world that is far more globalized than before people come into contact with one another through travel and living closer and closer to each other now we know that we are at the right location because they are talking about people contact globalized world so the answer will be here only as a result super viruses and other infections resistant to antibiotics are becoming more and more common means the antibiotics are losing their usefulness so the answer to 21st will be antibiotics twenty second question is disease causing dash are most likely to be found in hot damp regions now we have to see where they are talking about something that is found in hot damp regions these are our keywords if we go to the b section geography can play a very large role we will scan the passage and we will go directly to the third line where they are talking about malaria prone areas which are usually tropical region that are foster a warm and damp environment in which the mosquitoes that can give people this disease can grow now we know what is grown in the warm and damp environment it's they are talking about mosquitoes so the answer to the 22nd question will be mosquitoes you can write it in with es or s only both are correct so the 22nd answer is disease causing mosquitoes are most likely to be found in hot damp regions now we will move to 23rd question one cause of pollution is dash that burn a particular fuel now we have to find the what is the one cause of pollution we will move to the next section because these are we can notice from 20th to 22nd that these are in the sequence now we will go to the third section c section in some countries geographical factors influence the health and well being in many large cities the wind is not strong enough to clear the air part of the problem is of course the massive number of cars being driven in addition to factories that run on coal power in question they are talking about particular fuel and they are talking about coal power 
So these are the synonyms. So the answer to the 23rd question will be factories. One cause of pollution is factories that burn a particular fuel. Remember this is in plural. Now we will move to 24th question. The growth of cities often has an impact on nearby dash. Now they are talking about growth of cities which has impact on something. We will move to the same place in the C section. We will read the next. We will scan the next line. The rapid industrialization of some countries in recent years has also led to the cutting down of forests to allow for the expansion of big cities. Now we know our answer is here only. Cutting down of forests. There they are talking about impact on nearby dash forest. So the answer to the 24th question will be forests. You will write forests in the blank. Now we will move to 25th question. Dash is one disease that is growing after having been eradicated. Now they are talking about a disease that is growing after having been eradicated. So we will go to the next line. In the deep era, it is in situations like these that the field of health geography comes into its own. It is an increasingly important area of study in a world where diseases like polio are re-emerging. Now they are talking about a disease which is re-emerging that is polio. So the answer will be polio for the 25th. Though we have to read the full line in the D section that they are talking about polio or re-emerging. Respiratory diseases continue to spread. Malaria prone areas are still fighting. So they are talking about something re-emerging that is polio only. Now we will move to 26th question. A physical barrier such as a dash can prevent people from reaching a hospital. Now we will move to the next section. In the D only we will scan the passage. Are they talking about physical barrier? which is preventing people from reaching hospital. We will quickly scan. We will notice that there is, they are not talking about this in the D para. Now we will move to the E. We will scan the E part and they are talking about geography of region. They are talking about health concern, but they are not talking about any barrier which is preventing people from reaching a hospital. Now we will move to F, we will quickly scan that. They are talking about interactions between human and their environment, such as asthma and all. Now we will quickly move to G. The second subcategory of health geography is the geography of healthcare provision. We will again scan the passage. Again, they are talking about geography of healthcare provision, attempt to assess the levels of healthcare in the area. We can notice that they are talking about a particular area. That means they are talking about something hospital type thing. We will thoroughly read this these lines then. Individuals working in the area of geography of healthcare provision attempt to assess the levels of healthcare in the area. For instance, it may be very difficult for people to get medical attention because there is a mountain between their village and the nearby hospital. So the answer is mountain. A physical barrier such as mountain that prevent people from reaching a hospital. So our, we have got the answer. The mountain will be the answer for 26th question. So this is the way to do complete the sentences exercise. For other type of various questions of IELTS reading, please subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.